Hello, good morning to you guys. Uh, right now we are picking up a U-Haul because uh, we're finally working on creating up the mezzanine area in our studio garage space. We're waiting on my sister to do all the paperwork, but this is gonna be our vehicle for the day. Let's go. Okay, um. Can you drive a van like this? We are going to find out today. Or do you wanna drive the FRS? <laughs> I believe, okay. believe. Yeah, there's a few things we gotta pick up at our place first including the ironing board. You know, basically we're moving like half the studio from our house to the garage, um, the sewing kit, shelving units, uh, possibly the photo booth. So the backdrops and all that stuff and lighting. We need more lighting up there too. So I told my sister to meet us at our place and then um, yeah, we'll get the day started. Lots of moving around, but uh, today's a beautiful day. So can't complain. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the garage. Here? No, <laughs> no need. Got my hat. Whatever. Do we care? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, Yay! you're perfect! Yay! Studio, so nice. yeah, I told her so. Yeah, he has a garage, and we're just filling it up with like office, office things. Cool. Mm -hmm. So our That's desk, good. we got it. Good stuff. Yeah. Another thing crossed off the list. Actually, this table that we just picked up is so nice for a corner. Can't wait to see what it looks like all set up. Okay, uh, lunchtime. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, because after this, it's head to the garage on my list. Well, um. Dang, I was wondering if you could pick up that um because oh, the other guy, one. Yeah, okay, the where was it though? Shelf. It's uh it's on 16th. Okay, so we'll have lunch. Yep. That'll probably be like 30 to 45 minutes. I'll tell him we'll be there for one. Alright, shout outs to anyone who knows this band. They're more so the 90s, so any 90s kids, but soul decision. <laughs> All right, we're picking up one more cabinet. And uh, it's actually just right there. Now, garage? We can go now, yes. Kay. First things first, let's grab some Timmy's. If something goes wrong, at least birdies can <laughs> Exactly. Get monetized for your mishaps. Weird. If I lose a leg, I better get some dough out of it. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Woo! Alright. Now, basically just to clean this room up. But I'm gonna try to bring as many of these tires to the other shop as I can. So the Celica, the Beamer. Can I bring those ones too? The if you Corolla? Want to, yeah, because yeah, then the other sets are all mine, so. I hate giving up the super ones. Make sure you get a time lapse of this transformation. It's freaking hot there. I'm wearing all black and leggings. <laughs> Progress. So we're trying to empty as much of this top area as we can to make room for my sister, but this table that we just picked up is a corner unit and is gonna be placed in that corner, but should fit perfectly and from there we'll build. Just a nice studio setup. And of course, we still have this countertop for people who wanna work on their computer. Today, really just Clean up day. Make this mezzanine the studio we've always longed for in life. These nuts. <laughs> Slick. Okay. Tires. 
and other things. I think that's it for now, man. Oh, and the bumper as well. Status update, guys, it's looking so much more spacey up here. Sister really did work. The thing. Yeah. You compare <laughs> You compare this place to what it looked like before. And this is gonna be our new work area. You guys definitely will get a better idea once everything is taken out of here. The idea is we're gonna knock this wall down and uh, have it so it's open and you can look down from the mezzanine. And we still have to do a few more trips, grab more things. The idea is to move, basically move our photo room or photo booth room uh, that's at our house here. So all of the backdrops, all of the light fixture setups, and then maybe we'll put a whiteboard on this wall or something for meetings. Then my sister wanted to put a hammock or something, make use of the beans. <laughs> Your friend's coming over soon. Your friend coming over soon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my brother brought Jonah and Gohan, so both the puppies. I want to see how the pug acts with Shomai. Cause they're both like super hyper dogs. Who that? Who that? Hi guys. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> yeah. Shomai. Hey. <laughs> Guys, since it's so beautiful out, me and the fellas decided to go for a mini photo shoot. Well, I, I thought Custom Decals was having a meet today, a pop-up meet, but I guess not. No one's here, so whatever. I got my super cleaned up. It's golden hour, so I'm just gonna take some photos, uh, get some content of our prettied up cars. And also, it's been a minute since we've last been here. Oh. Long time no see. The only last problem that we have to address on the RX-7, just have it roadworthy, is the leaking oil pan. I think that's because the previous owner or the people who built it, these guys custom fab the setup for the 1J. Some people who've done this swap actually have made the whole engine fit underneath the stock hood. This pops up just a tiny bit. And actually, I did end up buying a D-Max vent, but now I'm looking at it. I think it doesn't need a vent, it needs a hood scoop. It's not even wide enough, but yeah. I just don't know how I custom fit a vent. Also, thanks to Kenji, we have these feed fenders. But also looking at it now, that means I'd have to either run the wide body or subtle wide body, or get rid of these really rare side skirts. <laughs> like that of C. Awesome. I just kissed it right there. It's freaking dusty. Who? Keep the racket down. Guys, confession. I've decided not to continue working on the RX-7, the FC, because I have no interest in working on a Chevy small block, okay? I'm a Japanese anime otaku subculture inspired kid. So uh, American muscle, not my thing, <laughs> but I mean, it's cool. I did like a good weekend's worth of research and for me to build this car back up to well, a nice drivable running state, it would take a lot of this. So I've decided maybe, I'm actually looking to trade it off for a, another bike, but probably something around the 600cc speed. The Hayabusa was way too beastly of an entry bike for me to get as a beginner bike. So uh, yeah, if anyone in Calgary has a bike to offer for this thing, this thing is for sale or best offer or for a bike. And then the RX-7, I know these things are just appreciating in value. I know it doesn't have the regular 13D motor, but uh, the body is immaculate. And if I really wanted, perhaps I could find the motor and revert it back to stock. Obviously the value would go higher, but 
I like the fact that it's a 1J, it's so different. This is a drift missile at the end of the day and we'll probably keep it as is. Just touch it up and give it the KMR, it's birdie flare. Hello everyone, so this is my G37. <laughs> this is my G37. I've done Wait. a lot to it. Are you trying to sell this? Yeah. yeah. Me? I don't know, man. We'll see. Stop. I'm just seeing what I can get, you know, birdie? Like, yeah. Put it up and then see what happens. But I'm in no rush. Need say, to say, sell as it. seen on KMR YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> New spot is just at the end of this parking lot. But uh, hopefully, no cars come by because this is literally the corner, the blind spot by the giving tree. <laughs> okay, take a few shots. Click, click, click. <laughs> the friends are over there doing the same. <laughs> Security's coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> That's the new one. Imagine you just see this in the alleyway, just sitting there. Oh, look at that. Mm. That looks so sick. Help me, guys. Because they got no originality. I like your cars. The idea is to put these gold wheels on our FRS. So gold chrome on gold chrome. And I gave her a quick wash down. So she's super clean right now. Now obviously the bolt pattern on the Supra is completely different from the FRS BRZ. Uh, it's actually five by 112, which is really awkward European size. Whereas the FRS is five by 100. So how are we gonna make it fit, you ask? We are gonna be doing it with spacer adapters. These I just picked up off of Amazon. So we're only just gonna do one side because it's just gonna be too much effort to throw all four wheels on. Managed to get both gold wheels off, but now we have to lift the FRS up. Such a chore, but it's nice to be outside. Cheers. What's up, Brett? Hey, hello. What is that? You doing that? You doing it? Doing what? Doing the Street Hunter? Oh, what? No, no. <laughs> Just get that weird in the Street Hunter. Yeah, right. Oh, soon though, in a couple of days. Simon's actually planning on coming back here to help us install a few things on our cars. Me and Gutu. Uh, I think Simon's gonna help Gutu throw on uh, airbags. We're gonna be throwing this on the Supra while he's here as well. Yo, try it. Try it. This morphed, it's so hot. Before it breaks in the tool itself and we can't get it out, I'm gonna stop right there. Taking the kids to soccer practice. Okay, bye mom. <laughs> I have a few bolts on the back here that I can't get off. Got this, homie. You want that? All right, dudes, careful. I've been drinking the trip all day. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Do it. I don't condone any of this. Actually, I'll put this down. Break. Ready? Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Oops. <laughs> They're so light. First things first, put on our spacer adapters. <laughs> oh my god. It's so. It's as far as it'll go. We'll throw it on just to see what it looks like, but we're not gonna lower it because. I don't trust this fitment. <laughs> it, it's already like, it fills in the gap so well, but if we lower it, it's probably gonna destroy everything. Like it was a chore to even get it past my splitter. The wheels are different sizes, but the widths are the same. So these front ones are 18 by 9.5, and then 18 by 11, 19 by 9.5 in the front, and 19 by 11 in the rear. And then we threw on the other spacer in the back. Got it, homie? You ready? Yeah. I stay ready, homie. Yes. 
Oh, it doesn't fit. What? Oh, you scare me. <laughs> that one might fit better. I think so. God damn! Gold on gold. Oh. That's a cool car. <laughs> what? God damn, that looks so sick. Four. Damn it. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Should we actually keep the gold wheels on the FRS? Gold on gold? Pretty obnoxious, man. I bet you if the sun was shining on this thing, it would blind you. That means we're gonna have to rock these wheels on the Supra or something else, but, oh. Uh, yeah, that actually looks really good. What do you think? What do you think? Good diet. We don't have small enough bolts to hold in the adapter spacers. That doesn't fit. The ones it came with didn't fit. It'll have to wait for another day. Maybe you should get Avangard to send you some gold wheels. For the for FRS? The okay, maybe. Or just powder coat the middle of these gold. Black with gold, yeah, yeah exactly. Gold. It'll match the theme. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. The other gold member arrived. And look who came following right after. <laughs> Shannon and I went to go grab some barbecue stuff. <laughs> sup, sup. What are you guys doing? Going gold? <laughs> thank you. You look like a Disney princess right now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so bad. What's up, dude? Dude, that looks pretty cool. We'll see, man. I don't know. You should have got gold calipers in the back, too. It looks good, right? Yeah. yeah. It actually matches now. The front <laughs> it matches the caliper. We just chilled out for the rest of the night, made ourselves some good old fashioned barbecue. Oh, yes. Good call, man. How could I forget? Cheers. Mmm, <laughs> what a combo. These guys are good. That looks amazing. That looks like a gourmet burger. Let's watch the fight. Ding, ding. Oh, I can't forget about you. <laughs> Gotta test this out, dudes. Yo, thanks. It tastes like Montana's. <laughs> we ended up ordering and watching the Conor McGregor fight. Remember, guys, it's important to cherish the relaxation time, too. Be present with your close friends because it's those memories that you create with them that you carry for the rest of your life. And like I've said in the past, certain experiences and events are only supposed to happen during particular times. You gotta make sure you know what the good old days are before you call them the good old days. Because, in all honesty, Every day can be a good old day. There's always gonna be good and bad moments happening simultaneously. Just wanna make sure good moments happen more than bad. That's it. Oh. He stepped back and he snapped it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Technical knockout. That sucks. There's gonna be a fourth.